Turkeys and Toys is our major holiday season distribution. It's this year going to be at Virginia Credit Union Stadium parking lot. Uh, we hope to serve hundreds of families. That's our goal. We uh, set aside in the season at least 500 turkeys out of the 3,600 or so that came in uh, for the Thanksgiving Christmas season. And so we've dedicated at least 500 turkeys. Hmm. And, you know, come Saturday, we may have more still in our inventory. Uh, but we immediately set aside those 500 turkeys to make sure that we had supplies for 500 families to come out, be served on this particular Saturday in a drive through fashion. We'll also have some extra food boxes there. Uh, we'll have some produce boxes there, produce bags there, that sort of thing. And then toys. You know, very uh, often this time of year, we become the recipient of all sorts of additional items from the retail stores that mm. contribute food to the food bank. And so as we go through those extra items, uh, we have found in the past few years that often toys are present there in a number that uh, can be tough for our agencies and our pantries to push out. So we developed the idea of linking those toys into a holiday distribution, too. So hence the name Turkeys and Toys. And, you know, we again guarantee that at least 500 families will have toys available to them. And we have to thank some partners uh, for these supplies. I mean, Giant and Shady Brook Farms have been helpful in helping us acquire turkeys at this time of year. And then uh, in terms of toys, Toys for Tots is sharing with us some excess toys from their many events. And then also PetSmart, which has uh, toys that it shares with the Office on Youth, the Rappahannock Office on Youth. That Office on Youth is sharing some of its excess uh, from PetSmart with us. So it certainly takes a community to pull together, and we appreciate Davis Defense Group as our lead sponsor for the event, along with Cox Communications and Burke and Herbert Bank helping out as well. So Turkeys and Toys, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. this Saturday, December 10th, at Virginia Credit Union Stadium. The line will be uh, worth the wait if you are in need of holiday supplies. We encourage people who have that need, please come out and uh, be good to your family with some extra food and some toys to take care of children. What a great, what a great idea. Do you need to sign up in advance or just show up? No, it's a, it's a just show up event. Uh, I mean, again, it is a first come, first serve basis. Uh, we, again, guarantee 500 uh, turkeys and supplies of 500 families being served by toys. But we think we'll have more than that. Uh, so if we exceed 500, it's just simply a matter of time constraint at that point. Because we do need to cut off the uh, drive through line at 2 p.m. We'll serve any car yeah. that's in line at 2 o'clock. But for the uh, sanity and uh, you know stamina of our volunteers out there that day, it's already a long day by 2 p.m. So 10 a.m., the line will begin. 2 p.m., uh, the last car getting into the line, that will be the end of the line. And then we'll serve them uh, as the drive through works its way through the stadium parking lot. Boy, Dan, but to be able to say five, you know, to guarantee 500, that, that, that there's, there's a lot of work goes into that. And there's a lot of partners that, that have, you, like you said, you mentioned the partners. This is, this is a big undertaking. It really is. And we'll have dozens of volunteers out there. Last year was the first year we did this event in this format. Uh, and we served right around 450 families last year. Uh, sadly, I think the need is going to be recognized as higher this year based yeah. on our experiences throughout the year with the impacts of inflation. So we, we think it's going to be, you know, unfortunately, relatively easy to find 500 families coming out with that need. And, you know, again, if we exceed 500, we'll do our best to serve as many as we can beyond that number. Um, but, yeah, it really does take the community. And uh, the volunteer coordinator said that just this being the second year, she was just overwhelmed, really, with the outpouring of interest in this event. You know, it already had such a strong reputation from people participating in it last year yeah. that as soon as we started talking about it this year, she just got a lot of requests of how do I get involved? How do I support it? When can I come out? And so, you know, that's been a challenge for her, just managing expectations and trying to manage the number of people who want to help that day. Um, so we really appreciate that the community sees the value of an event like this, and we appreciate the community's ability to share that. You know, a lot of people have their own social media networks that they use. So, you know, please create awareness of turkeys and toys this Saturday, December 10th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Virginia Credit Union Stadium to help families in need. What, and I was, you're, you're really meeting so many needs right there. Yeah, I mean, that was the thing last year. We, we didn't, again, 
toys are not our sweet spot. So we didn't know exactly <laughs> how that would, you know, play out and work so well last year. And I think we learned some logistics uh, last year. You know, anytime you get out of your comfort zone and give away things that you're not used to giving away, you, you learn something. Um, but, yes, uh, very much the families that came out last year were grateful for the toys uh, and, you know, that was actually probably the longest part of the line last year was people, you know, wanting to get some sense of a, a good toy from the options that were there. So, uh, yeah, toys really, uh, I think, hit a sweet spot for the families that are there. And almost everybody who went through the line, it wasn't to them just about getting the food. They also wanted those toys. So even though, uh, you know, we're a food bank, uh, we try to be multi-purpose and, and use the resources that are placed at our disposal from the community, as I say. A lot of retailers this time of year, as they clear shelves, uh, they have more than food that they're clearing off their shelves. And so it tends to make its way to us. And uh, you know we try to work a little of Santa's magic and get it out there as we can. And, and like you say, for, for everyone to use their own social media network, a lot of times that's you can go to the, go to the food bank facebook page and if you can't do anything but share something a lot of times it gets a need out or or in this case it it uh, gets out an event yeah i really appreciate you highlighting that i mean sometimes uh, as i say with our volunteer coordinator all these people saying how can i help how can i help you know sometimes your help is as simple as creating awareness within the community and advocating within the community for uh, people to be aware of these events for people to share resources so that these kind of events can happen. You know, those are powerful ways to help the the mission of the food bank. If you can't personally volunteer, if you can't personally donate funds, you know, use your voice. And social media networks allow us to do that uh, on our time in what's convenient to us and in a manner and uh, style that's, you know, comfortable for us. So please use your social media network. Go to our Facebook page. That's primarily where we post this, although we'd also use Twitter and Instagram. Uh, so, you know, use our social media platforms, link to them, tag them, what have you, and create awareness within your network so that people in need can be served. 